What's going on guys? Today we have a really exciting video where basically I'm going to be replacing my high pressure fuel pump with a Revo one as well. Um, the parts have not come down yet but I'm going to go ahead and strip the uh, fuel pump today. Um, I'm pretty super excited for this because it's been a little while since I've uh, actually done anything that modifies the car quite a bit. So I'm looking to go high pressure fuel pump uh, do the RS4 valve uh, and then we're going to go ahead and get I'm not really too sure what intercooler to get but I want to get an intercooler so we can go stage 2 plus and look at like 350, 360 brake um, on the S3 I'll go ahead and uh, record me doing it but uh, try not to use this as a um, tutorial because I'm sort of winging it I've taken this apart once before um, and it was alright but Okay, battery's disconnected. Load the tissue down here. So all you want to do is get your little screwdriver and you get to feel it when you get there. Okay, feel it and then just push it. And there you go. So it releases all the pressure, fuel, air. Well, no, it'd probably just be fuel. There you go. So now that's drained out, I just want to wipe it all down, wipe your fingers, and then next we're going to disconnect these plugs, so same tool, just pull that off, there you go, one handed, pretty easy, get under that, and then there you go, put them out of the way, This one, I'll put that, put it there. And next, I'm going to undo this one, which is a Torx 30, a T30, and this one down here. But we actually, um, this is a 13 millimeter valve, which needs to be taken out. Um, so 10, 11, 12, 13. So I'll quickly take that valve off. Pretty simple. Get your, you could do this with a spanner as well. Just get on there. So make sure you loosen it because these are not very strong. There we go. So if you do over tighten these, it will snap. Just to be wary. Put a bit more fuel there. Um, also, of all your parts, make sure you put them on a clean surface because you want everything to be clean when you're doing this job. Okay, so I've just put a little uh, tissue here where I've put all the parts here so they're all clean and clear. So next thing is we're going to take these three screws out and then actually to the light, we need to undo this first, which is this is a 17 mil spanner that you need to take this off now pretty simple here and you just crack her off so now this can be a bit tight ah, there you go just a bit of a fuel as well come out of that so that's good just spray it everywhere why not and then once she's loose put your Reach the side, should be hand tight. There we go. At least we can pull it down a bit. A few of tissue. And now we'll take those three screws out and pull the pump away. Okay, so I've got my ratchet extension bar onto adapter onto the T30. So it shouldn't be too, too tight. Hopefully I should be able to do it one hand. Yep. There we go, that's one. Two. Three, there we go. So I'll just go ahead and take them screws out by hand and then I'll come back to you. 
So once all three of the screws out, you'll feel the pressure that the uh, pump is actually pushing towards you. Uh, so you just want to push it back in for a bit, undo them, and then it should come off. So the pump's actually ready to come out, but there is one pipe at the bottom here, which you need pliers to move the, the uh, clip, push it down, and this hose can be quite stiff. Uh, last time I did this, I actually used a heat gun to heat the pipe up to be able to get it off. Um, so we'll see how we do. Um, but another tricky thing I've had is I've like, reversed the car right up to the back and all my tools are on this bent and I know that the pliers are in that box which I can't get to. So I'm going to have to find some more somewhere in here. Okay guys, so I've got the pump out um, and now you can see this is the hose that you need to pull the clamp down um, and just pull off. Some, like I said, sometimes it can be a bit difficult but you just got to pry it off if you can or better yet use a heat gun to warm it up and make it a bit more flexible um, and this is the other pipe as well which I bought. I've cleaned both these pipes up uh, could do a little bit more to be honest yeah tissue just make sure everything is clean here um, and for you guys you'll probably be doing this on the same day but I'm going to be leaving the car like this for a couple of days till the parts come down um, but uh, I'm going to put a um, like a sheet of tissue over make sure everything stays clean and I've got the pump down here on some paper which we're going to go ahead and put the vice over there and start stripping it stripping it down okay so got some microfiber cloths on the vice here just to make sure it doesn't scratch the pump um, I've just use some engine degreaser just to degrease the whole pump itself as well as I have taken the o-ring off which goes right there and I've also taken the spring and I don't know what you guys want to pull out the pin uh, basically it just sits in the middle uh, all you gotta do is literally pull directly up and it will come straight out uh, from what I know this looks like a nut and it needs to be taken out um, and then we'll go from there so i'll go ahead and take that off and i'll catch up with you guys okay quick update i've just had to take the sensor out uh, because i couldn't get a good grip on the vise to be able to undo the nut that's in there um, but it does look like i will need to order a new um o-ring because that one looks a bit chewed up but yeah so I'll go ahead and readjust this, put it in the right direction, and get that nut off. So I've just cleaned it all up. I've taken out the valve here as well. So this is what we're left with. Um, I can't remember what I left. Oh yeah, obviously I've taken this out now. So it just threads out. And it looks like it's got an O-ring on there as well, which I might as well replace. And then this comes out as well, which I believe um with the uh kit that um comes with but like, this is be this gets replaced i think this gets replaced as well but not the spring oh, i think that's it but um yeah i reckon this should be a pretty easy job i'm de sort of debating on doing the rs4 valve now while the, while it's out um, i'm just worried about if i'm able to drive the vehicle well, the car um, with the valve in, but I'll um, do. So I'll look look it up and we'll go from there. Um, just because I don't want to get it mapped until I get the intercooler, um, but I still want to drive it. So we'll see how we go. So um, yeah, I'll go ahead and catch up with you guys when I get all the parts, and I'll go ahead at the minute. I'll clean all these up, and uh, when I get all the parts, we'll uh, put it back together. Okay guys, so <clears throat> the part has arrived in the post today. Um, so I'm actually currently trying to figure out how exactly to install it. Um, but basically just this little thing is what we're replacing in the pump. Um, now believe it or not, these, don't actually, these aren't actually cheap. This little thing has actually cost me about 350 pounds all in total. Um, so yeah, be expected to spend a bit of money to get your fuel pump done um but uh yeah i'll go ahead and um catch up with you guys once i figure out how 
I'm actually going to be installing this and what the actual um, crackers are putting this back together. Um, I, this is actually a couple of days after um, since I've taken this apart, probably like about a week to be honest. Um, so I've just got to remember my, myself um, exactly how this goes back. But um, I'll catch up with you guys once I've sort of figured it out. Hey guys, so I think I've just sussed it. The flat bit at the bottom through pin and you put the little two little ki um, clips back in like that. And yeah, that's how she's looking. So basically just got to put it back in here now and um, basically assemble the whole pump again. Um, luckily everything's all here. Um, I'm just going to keep using some little oil there to keep everything lubed up. And uh, yeah, I reckon this is going to be a pretty easy put back together sort of thing. But uh, yeah, I'll catch up with you guys when I assemble this a bit more. And uh we can get it into the car and uh, get it get it started up again. Okay guys, quick update. Um, I quickly realized that I cannot get a socket on here with having the spring and all the bits on. So I've had to dismantle it on the pump and now I can finally torque this back down. Um, I don't actually have the torque setting for this, but I'm just gonna sort of feel it out and just do it quite snug. And I think we'll just leave it at that. Together. Pins and everything are in. So um, now I think we are going to go ahead, put this little sensor back in. Um, I'm going to put the old gasket on, um, which I believe looks like I might go there. No, it does not go there. Um, well, anyway, I'm going to go ahead and put this back on. Um, and then I think it's safe to say we're going to install it back on the car. I've got my new camshaft follower inside got the pump here over here i should have my new bits so new bolts i uh, don't know why they're not the same color but it is what it is this and remember to put them back and i think as long as we use a bit of oil we should be clean and good to go so i'll go ahead and come back to you guys once i get the pump in there um and then we can start reassembling all the plugs and whatnot and then uh, yeah i also got a um new dipstick because i don't know if you guys know the oem dipsticks tend to snap or sort of break apart you can't really see that there you go so yeah it sort of snapped um and we've got the little overing which is just dangling around so I've got a new one for the sake of 12 pounds, I reckon it was a good deal. But uh, yeah, let's go ahead and put this pump in. Okay guys, so we've got the pump back on. I quickly realized that I put this sensor in this end. Um, I'm guessing the threads are exactly the same, uh, but I quickly realized that that's not right. I put the hoses back on underneath. Everything, all sensors are back together. It's tight down. So what I need to do, put the battery on, and then we'll go ahead and test her out. Okay guys, we've got no leaks. Take a minute for it to um, start up. Wait, right, just, I don't know, like maybe three seconds, and I'll start it up. Uh, but yeah, I know it seems all right. Looks like we're on idling quite nicely. The lights are on because the battery is disconnected. But yeah, I reckon we are sorted. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, end this video here. But um, I'll go ahead and catch up with you guys. Another video. And uh, I think in the future we're gonna go ahead and get this remapped. Let's so get it to the rev, see if there's any difference. really going to tell to be honest but um, maybe on the road it might be a little bit different uh, but uh, yeah I'll leave the, I'll leave the um, fuel pump internals in the description it's a, uh, a Revo one off Demon Tweaks Let's quickly set the time well, I don't even know what time it is because of the recording um, so um, yeah I'll go ahead and see you guys in the next video 
I hope you guys enjoyed this. Subscribe if you guys want to follow um, the next modifications I'm doing to the S3. Um, and the next thing I'm going to be doing is the clutch. I'm going to get a, um, I've ordered a Stage 2 Plus clutch and it's still currently on its way down. But when that comes, we're going to go ahead and get that installed. Going ahead and getting the car remapped um, for the new fuel pressure. And, um, and then we should be looking at probably, I don't know, maybe 340, something like that. I'm not really going to bother getting the intercooler on that at a minute. Um, well, I don't think I am going to bother it in at all, to be honest, because I'm just going to... I think it's quite fast enough as it is at the minute, but um, I don't know. We'll see how we go. But uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll go ahead and see you in the next one.